Mr. Mr. Gale, this is Chet Peterson from the U.S. Embassy here in Patna. Uh, I'm calling you pursuant to the application for a tourist visa for India with further travel to Karat. We can only accept your status as a U.S. citizen as we have no official records regarding your Karate citizenship. Furthermore, I must legally advise you against traveling into Karat. We have no official diplomatic presence in Karat due to the civil unrest with the Golden Path. In regards to your intent to bring with you the cremated remains of one Ishwari Gale, you will need to bring with you the passport for the deceased, the original and the yeah. Passport. What's happening? Patna boss. Patna. Patna me kya? Parva hai? To baad me kya? Lekin hamare range mein kya? Maine kaha baad me kya? Kuch hai? Abhi tak kuch nahi. Koi baat nahi. Boss, koi baat nahi. Le raha. Job. Mil gaya? Kuch mil gaya? Aao. Chalo chalo. Aaj se niklo. Aao. with my words stop shoot stop shoot do those words sound same but it got out of control i'm sorry i didn't hear you what you say it got out of control got out of control I hate when things get out of control oh! one fucking chap you couldn't fucking do that There's a silver lining. You didn't completely fuck it up. Get up, boy. I recognize those eyes anywhere. <laughs> I'm so sorry about this. This was supposed to be. Well, not this. We have a party waiting for you, but I don't think I know your name. Who is this? Hmm? Is this your plus one? <laughs> Strong silent type. I like it. I am terribly embarrassed about all of this. This was supposed to be very simple, but you know, if you if food to monkeys, they just throw their shit at each other. You know. Oh, would you hold this? For just a moment, I want to get a little. Yeah, right into the camera. There we are. Awesome. Don't worry about a thing, my boy. This will soon be behind us. 
and we'll be off on our grand adventure. Because I have cleared my calendar for you. You and I. You give my congratulations to Ashley on your next visit home. I must say, Paul, your little corner of Kiratu is rather beautiful. I expected more, you know, chains and wailing, but knowing you, somewhere around here is a dark place where the secrets flow like the blood. <laughs> that wry smile betrays you again, Diplume. <laughs> Well, go on, take the bloody bag off his head! Again, terribly sorry for what happened before. This is more what I had in mind. So, fresh start. Introductions. R.J. Gale, our guest of honor. Paul, our very gracious host. The little monkey, whose name I still don't know. And I, of course, am Pagan Men. You really don't remember me, do you? Your mother, she never spoke of me, never mentioned me. Oh, we'll change all that. Paul, I need cash. Uh, how much do you need? All of it. Thank you. Here we go. Ah. Hmm? All right. With this, with the smile. <clears throat> That's you. That's me. Although I'm not so sure anymore. Now, your mother, your mother on the hey. other hand, she understood me. She knew me in a way that no one ever did. Mm. That takes me back. The last time I saw Ishwari was years ago. She told me she loved me. Women, they can do that. They can tell you they love you in the moment and mean it. Men, on the other hand, no, men only really love you. In hindsight, and too much distance has built up. So, when your mother decided to flee to the United States with you on her hip, I couldn't help but blame myself. But then I realized it's not me. No, it was the fucking golden path. <laughs> Those fucking terrorists, they ruin everything. Like dinner. Did no one ever teach you that it's rude to text at the table? Let's see here. Hit me the bum. Really, guys? We're not checking for these anymore? Ah, I'm with R.J. Gale. You'll love this part. Help. <laughs> A text for help. You don't text for help, you cry for help. So come on, you're gonna cry for help. If you're gonna do something, you're gonna do it right. Here we go. Go on, cry for help. Cry for help. Help? Oh, pathetic. No, cry for help. Help! You mean it, boy. Help! help! From your diaphragm! Help! 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 Shh, 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 shh. Now we listen. Nothing. I'm afraid they're not coming for you, buddy. <laughs> oh! Find out what he knows. Terrorists, right? Now... Please, stay right here. Enjoy the crab rangoon. Don't move. I will be right back. Yuma, we need to talk.
Oh, fan bloody tastic. You, sir, are a gentleman. I sincerely apologize. We saw terrorists in the area and yada yada. The crab rangoon, right? It's. <laughs> Fabulous. Mm. Well, come on, let's go. Three point landing. You know, part of me is surprised your mother asked for you to bring her all the way back here. Thank you, Comron. You want me to follow you? Jesus Christ. Yes, boy, the ashes aren't going to scatter themselves. <sighs> Did your mother ever tell you about your father? Never, no. Mohan, the great protector of the Golden Path. <laughs> he was a cunt. He hauled your mother out, sent her to spy on me. But we fell in love. We had a child. And that is when Mohan showed his true colors. <laughs> he drove you and your mother away. He even killed your sister, Lakshmana. Which brings us here. <laughs> Lakshmana shouldn't be alone anymore. I'm so glad we're finally back together. After you. Oh, good. You feel better now? Get it out of your system? Good. Maybe now we can finally shoot some goddamn guns. Montana. Big sky country. The treasure state. People got a lot of names for it. I just call it home. Lived here my whole life. Still amazed at how beautiful it is. Maybe that's what blinded us to how ugly the people were getting. Good day to you, brother. You don't understand. No one took these groups seriously. They were different. Religious. Militant. I mean, it was a goddamn cult. The collapse is upon us, my children. They started buying up every farm for miles. Then the radio station. Not long after that, they even had the fucking cops. Their own sovereign religious state. Built right here. Under our noses. Ain't no one coming to help us. The government can't do shit. We're on our own. Fans, we save those lost souls, whether they want to be saved or not. People don't want to believe groups like this exist. People are scared, man. Someone wished to harm us. Some will wish to destroy all that we have built here together. And some will betray us. We don't know what he's capable of. Ow. Who? Their leader. Joseph Seed. They call him the father. And those in the outside world are blind. They do not believe. They have no faith. But I will make them see. Hey, Rookie. Rookie. 
wasting your time. There's no signal out here. Crossing over the henbane now. Oh, fuck. There he is. Crazy motherfucker. Jesus. We're officially in Peggy country. How much longer? Well, just long enough for you to change your mind. So we can turn this bird around. You want me to ignore a federal warrant, Sheriff? No, sir. I want you to understand the reality of this situation. Joseph Seed, he's not a man to be fucked with. We've had run-ins with him before. They haven't always gone our way. Just sometimes. Sometimes it's best to leave well enough alone. Yeah, well, we have laws for a reason, Sheriff. And Joseph Seed's gonna learn that. Pratt? Open a call with dispatch? 10-4. White horse to dispatch, over. Hello, We're approaching the compound, Nancy. Over. Roger, Sheriff. It's still planning to go through with this? Over. We are. Unfortunately, still trying to talk some sense in our friend, the Marshal. Over. <laughs> All right. Lucky I'm not there. If you get into any trouble, you just let me know. Over. 10-4, over and on. Maybe we should have brought Nancy along with us instead of the probie. These Peggies wouldn't fuck with her. Pratt. Why do you keep calling them Peggies? Project at Eden's Gate. P-E-G. Peggies is what the locals call them. You know, they started off harmless enough a few years back, but now they are armed to the T. Yeah, you know, they're looking for a fight. Are you scared, Sheriff? We're here. Compound's just below. <sighs> oh, my Jesus. This is a bad idea. Last chance, Marshal. <sighs> We're going in. Set her down. All right, roger that. Church. Stick close. Eyes open. These folks can spoke easily. Rook, on me. Stay loose, huh? What are they doing here? Be calm. Stay calm, everyone. Just go about your business. This doesn't concern you. Sheriff, I don't like this. Everything's fine, Nancy. Everything's just fine. Jesus Christ. You're wearing badges, aren't you? Yeah, but they don't respect badges like out here. They'll respect a 9mm. Not every problem can be solved with a bullet marshal. We're thinking. What are you doing? You don't have to do your business. We can't let them. Oh, Marshal. When we do this, we do it my way. Quietly. Calmly. You got it? Fine. Hudson on the door. Watch our backs. Don't let any of these people get in. Rookie? On me. And you? Just... Try not to do anything stupid. Relax, Sheriff. You're about to get your name in the paper. You'll be fine. Something is coming. You can feel it, can you? We are creeping toward the edge. And there will be a reckoning. That is why we started the project. Because we know what happens next. They will come. 
They will try to take from us, take our guns, take our freedom, take our faith. We will not let them. Sheriff, come on. Hold on we will not let their greed or their immorality or their depravity hurt us anymore. Sheriff, sure, there will be no more second. suffering. Oh, fuck. Joseph C. I have a warrant issued for your arrest on the suspicion of kidnapping with the intent to harm. Now, I want you to step forward and keep your hands where I can see them. You go back to where you nope. came from. There they are, the locusts in our garden. See, they've come for me. They've come to take me away from you. They've come to destroy all that we've built. Oh, do not touch that service weapon. Hold on and don't stand down. Stand down. Stand down. Everyone calm down. We knew this moment would come. And we've prepared for it. Go. Go. God will not let them take me. I saw when the Lamb opened the first seal, and I heard, as it were, the noise of thunder, one of the four beasts say, Come and see! Step forward. And I saw. And behold, it was a white horse. And hell followed with him. Rookie. Cuff this son of a bitch. God will not let you take me. Rook, put the cuffs on him. Put down your guns. Take your friends. And walk away. Come on, rookie. God is watching us, and he will judge you on what you choose in this moment. God damn it, rookie. Sheriff? Hold on, Marshal. Sometimes it's best to leave well enough alone. We're leaving, Rook. What the fuck are you doing? What are you doing? What the fuck are you doing? Sheriff, get back there. Shut up and listen. You put those cuffs on him. None of us get out of here alive. I will have you all arrested. So be it. Viva Libertad, Danny. Fireworks show. Had to give you credit, Clara. You fucking did it. We did it, Danny. That was the difference. What's your plan when you reach America? Me and my friend Alejo were going to work shit jobs until we could scrape up some money. Open a body shop. If the Yankee blockade taught us anything, it's how to keep things running when you got nothing. That's the dream? Sure, Yankees might pay you to park their cars or pick their fruit, but you'll never be one of them. The American dream doesn't come in our color. Okay, if we're shitting on dreams, what are you going to do if you win, Presidente Garcia? 
The next president won't last six months before they are assassinated. Wait, what? It's the truth. Won't free elections solve that? What happened to your list? It's a vision, Danny. But I'm not as naive as you think. This revolution will free Yara, but won't fix it. When we take the capital, Yara will be burning. It will be civil war, factions, warlords, born-backed coups. Take your pick. Yarans will be killing Yarans for a generation. Uh-huh. This fight will take the rest of my life. Yara is stuck in a cycle of tyranny and revolution. My job is to show us how to break it. This isn't a dream, is it? You have to do this. What makes you say that? No one would choose this. No, Danny. Everyone who follows me, who joins Libertad, chooses this. But you know, I can really see you stocking shelves in one of those giant Yankee supermarkets. <laughs> Fuck you. No, no, no. I just think you'd look good in a little uniform, name tag, maybe a fancy apron. Leave me out of your fantasies, Clara. My favorite guerrillas. I missed my island. Tonight we celebrate. I'm sorry, Hefa. What's wrong? Julio never checked in. Liberdad will kill you fucking through your eyes! Traitors! Criminales! Puta. Mio, the difference between a true yarn and a fake yarn it can be hard to see, but it's there. A true yarn understands that loyalty to country is key to his survival. Not justice, not love, not even family. Loyalty. To a vision that looks beyond themselves. Come mierda. Fake yarns love to be the outcasts. They are addicted to their selfish perversions. Chaos. Lies. Like wild dogs. But dogs can be broken. They can serve paradise. And if a dog refuses to break, like Julio here, like Clara Garcia, like Libertad, then we must put them down. Papa! You've proved your point. Put Julio down. This is a difficult step to paradise, Mio. I understand. But when you achieve our vision, I promise you, there will be no more steps. I'm coming, Lita. Fine. Then, enjoy the show. Julio checked in. Proof of death. Join your friend Lita in a suite hereafter. I keep my promises, Danny. You wanted a boat, you got a boat. It's a beautiful piece of shit, but it'll get you to a Yankee beach. One with the naked fatties. You two are just gonna let me leave. Bullshit. You could have sold us out a long time ago. You're my best kid here. I can't promise you victory, I can't even promise you survival. What I can promise you is this. You are the lucky one. That usually work. 50-50. Mm. 
thing. I bet this fucking boat will sink halfway to Miami. Sorry, pal. You're gonna have to swim. Despite the tragedy, the company promises that its secretive new resort park will soon be open to the public. In other news, war has ended in Yara. President Anton Castillo announced that Clara Garcia, the leader of the terrorist group Libertad, was killed by his special forces. And as the pandemic tightens its grip on the globe, the federal government may impose another nationwide lockdown. But first, how about something a little more upbeat? <laughs> 